Miss Rhode Island, please describe your idea of the perfect date. That's a tough one. I'd have to say April 25th because it's not too hot, not too cold, and all you need is a light jacket. <laughs> That's right. One of the classic lines from the movie Miss Congeniality. Man, this movie is hilarious. It's withstood the test of time. I hadn't seen it in like 20 years. We watched it together last night, and it is absolutely hilarious still all these years later. We're at a filming location right now. We're going to several filming locations all around Austin and San Antonio, and we cordially invite you to come along for the adventure. Come along. The movie starts off with Gracie Hart defending a boy that she likes. Then it switches off to an older version of her sitting inside this restaurant right here. It would have said Lakey or something like that on that side where the Colorado is there. There was some kind of Texas looking star right there in the middle. And then a Russian word of some sort would have been right up there. Now they were pulling an FBI sting in here. She was working for the FBI by this point in time. They were just keeping an eye out on some Russians. She's reading her book about how to speak Russian. She's got a little camera on the other side of the book so she can watch them and send it out to the guys in the van who are waiting out here. There's also some guys waiting in the alley behind the shop. We're gonna go back there and take a look at that in just a second. So the guy starts choking. This big fat Russian guy is choking. She comes up to try to save him after being told not to and he holds her at knife point. <laughs> where one of the FBI agents was hiding out. Hiding out right in this area here. It's not quite the same because this was yellow at the time. However, that pipe that Heather's pointing at, you could see that in the movie. And also, this row of electric boxes right here was also shown in the movie. We're gonna look around the eye a little bit more. Let's take a peek. Come on. Yeah, this was a little bit different back then. This wasn't brick, it was something else. Right here, there was a large window. And then over here, it had the 409 right above the door, and there were a couple other windows right over here. We're at the Omni Hotel where the contestants stayed for the Miss America pageant. That's right, this area was used quite a bit for loading and unloading and talking and hanging out. Right over here was a large, awesome looking fountain, which is now not a large, awesome looking fountain anymore. Some kind of landscaping area. The fountain has been replaced. You don't want to jump into that fountain. Look at that. Cactus. Ooh, wee, prickly. So this building was where they stayed. The pool is here. We're going to go try to check that out here in just a second. Right up over here is where that sign was. Right on this area here, welcoming the Miss America pageant contestants to the place. Also, this area here is used as well. Now in the pool area where several memorable scenes took place. And of course, Sandra Bullock's room would have been right here.
Starbucks right here in downtown Austin. You see her walk by that gold post right here on her way into the shop. Now made our way over to Bass Concert Hall. This is right beside the University of Texas Football Stadium. They're doing a bunch of construction work around here, including at the Concert Hall. This is where the grand finale was held in the movie. Y'all be sure to hit the like button. Smash the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you can come along with us on future adventures. Come along.